Hi everyone, Cesar Toledo here with another great vlog. This time we're going to do something very simple. What is it? A simple guide to SEO best practice. Now, a lot of the videos that we talk about incorporate what I'm about to talk to you right now. But if you've missed those videos and judging by the amount of people who don't watch it, I would assume you have, then uh, this is just another quick video that we can do in order uh, for you to kind of everything is tied together and you can see it. So, uh, you know, first thing, I want to start off with, um, I'm sure you know that there are over 4.8 billion internet users worldwide. So that's about over 60% of the world's population, uh, making being online an essential requirement for any modern business. So without further ado, let's start with the first thing that you should do, uh, for SEO best practices. So you should know this, make your website secure. Website security is a hot topic amongst uh, both site owners and online consumers. And I'm sure you've seen it. You, you go online and all of a sudden it says, beware, this site is not secured. And if you kind of want to give the site another chance, you give you, you click on it again and you wait to see and it. And it comes out like it, like all of a sudden Google made a mistake. No, the site isn't secure. Now, a lot of times the site is fine. It's just, it's not secure. And you want to make sure that you always have that HTTPS and a lot of different websites uh, or platforms where you build them uh, give you the option to get your website secured. So make sure it's secured. Um, and if you don't have a lock icon displaying in your browser's bar before your website name, then you need to make sure that you obtain that SSL certificate that again, a lot of these platforms um, uh, will show you. And it's a little lock mechanism. You'll see it. Look at the the, the website and on the, on the left-hand side, you'll see like a little lock. If it's not there, that means you're not secured. Uh, the second best practice is conduct keyword research. That's very important. I've talked about this many times. There are tons of different platforms where you can conduct keyword research. What's the keyword research is how are people searching your niche? We are an SEO company and a website design company. So obviously we're going to go on these platforms and we're going to put in uh, website design, how to create your website, what to do for SEO, SEO, uh, search engine optimization, and it'll, and that, that platform will go ahead and give us a whole bunch of, um, keywords, uh, ranked by the, the ones that are being searched more per month. Uh, cause it's funny. A lot of, a lot of clients will, will be like, man, I, you know, a dentist might say like, you know, I just want to do crowns and, and that's it. And then you kind of find out that, uh, crown replacement is maybe not that big. I'm not saying it's not, it probably is, but I'm giving you, a, a an example of sometimes people are looking for niches and, and you're only getting about 80 to hundred, maybe a thousand visitors. I'm sorry, not visitors, a thousand, uh, people searching a month for that. And it's great and all, but understand that you're, you're, you're only looking for that niche. So it's only a small percentage of people looking for that, that are going to come on your site, which means you got to make sure that your site is optimized for that specific niche. Uh, the third one is, uh, have fast loading pages. So we've all been here. If you've actually seen my videos, you'll notice that I use this example a lot. So again, judging by the fact that no one's been watching them, um, I'll say this, we've all been on a site that we click, right? We do a search, boom, find the site, top three, top five, and it is just taking forever to load. And by forever, I mean seconds, which is really still fast, but um, it doesn't load. You kind of turn it, you click it off and then you go one more time for it, or it loads. And then you try to go to the page that you want to see. It's not opening. So you give it another shot after about the second time you are done. So goodbye, uh, potential sale, uh, potential client, because we're just not, we're not ready or we're not willing to wait and we shouldn't. And so make sure that you have fast loading pages. So when you optimize your page, uh, loading speeds, uh, seem to increase your SEO, oh, <laughs> sorry, SEO results. So, uh, you can immediately capture customer's interest. And that's, that's all I'm talking about right now. Um, the next one is consider the user experience. Th this obviously might sound obvious from what you can see, see but, um, most of the times, uh, these SEO techniques get overlooked. So ensure that your website provides a fantastic user experience. For example, you may find it easy to locate the product pages on your site because you were involved in the design, but does the person visiting 
Can they find your product pages? And let's be honest, what are you looking for? Mostly when you're looking for stuff, you're looking for images. Well, you're looking to see what the company does. Then you're looking for images and you're probably looking for pricing, uh, maybe some, um, some Google reviews or, or some sort of reviews on, on your website. And then you're looking for a contact. If you go on your site, then the best thing to do is build your site, give it to somebody that is not involved in the site pro in the building process, give it to anybody that is not involved in it. Sorry to repeat myself and have them see if they can locate something on your site. If they're having a hard time, I can tell you right now, a lot of people are going to have a hard time with it. So make sure you do that. Uh, the next one is huge. I just sent out a video about this. Uh, I think a week ago, I'm not hundred percent sure since I've done a couple of these, but build your backlinks. Uh, this SEO technique may have been around for a long time, but it's increasing now more than ever. We get vendors constantly saying, Hey, you know, you want us to build your backlink. It is huge. And you can also uh, do things like guest posting. And if you don't know what that is, then maybe you should watch the other videos that I've done, but I'll tell you here, guest posting is it's easy. Um, let's say we're in Athens, let's say the Athens newspaper, the online, uh, banner Herald or whatever they call it now. Um, they do an article on us. They put Bipper media on their website. Well, now we're gaining traffic and, and we're gaining, um, DA traffic to the site. I'm not saying that correctly, but basically it's boosting our site because now we have a backlink from another high authoritative, um, company. Um, onto the next one, we're going to go ahead and post high quality content. So far too many businesses produce a large amount of content that just doesn't provide value to custom consumers. Not only is this a waste of time, but it can actually harm your SEO efforts. So make sure with that keyword research that you're doing, you're able to incorporate those keywords and write some good quality content. If you are not a writer, that's fine. Hire somebody, spend some of that money to make sure you have a professional writer that can go ahead and use the keywords that you've provided them to help you get found on, uh, online. Um, you know, you can, you can hire somebody that we know because we also do that, but of course, cause we're doing this video, but, um, it is very important to have high quality, uh, content out there and then make sure you watch out for new SEO best practice trends. So as you know, SEO is an ever evolving part of the internet and you need to stay current with the latest trends. And unfortunately the search engines don't advertise when they're going to make these changes like Google, Google will never tell us what they're changing. Sometimes they do, they do tell us that these um, algorithm updates will happen, but we don't know exactly what like that is going to be focused on. We have to kind of just look and see like, okay, this changed, this changed, this hurt our client, this helped our client. And with that, we get to study the trends and see. So be on top of the trends. If you're ranking one, two or three today, and maybe you rank for the whole year, eventually, if you don't update your website, your, your backlinks, your content, anything, then eventually you're going to start dropping down because other people are staying, uh, staying up with the trends. So I believe that's it. Yes, it is. And, uh, just like that, our awesome business development director and our business development account executive will be standing by. So go ahead and contact Bipper at sales at bippermedia.com or support at bippermedia.com or give us a call. We'll be more than happy to sit and talk to you more about how we can help increase your visibility on Google search. Thank you.